This is the continental breakfast. I got a cute little salad bar, plenty of breads, toast, fresh honey. Every morning they got bacon, chicken sausage, dim sums. Cool little omelet center. May I get a scrambled eggs with ham, cheese, bell pepper, and onion? Thank you. Ham cheese, bell pepper, and onion. Okay. The scrambled eggs. Okay. Thank you. Juices, fruits, and then they mix this up every day. They got like, chicken soup with potato, stir fried chicken, Ooh, chicken beans. We back. I had a little mental error right there. Yeah, I think some cost like 180 ish. Whew. So, you know, you put a whole bottle of that in there and like a whole two liter of Coke as basically the cost of a, bot a bucket. But that's why I like just drinking it at home. So I'll just make my own bucket. And it's slightly cheaper, but going out was fun. That's the moral of that story. Going out was real fun last night. Actually, it wasn't last night, it was like two nights ago. I'm gonna work on this uh, camera angle. My arm just gets tired. I don't know how these people do it for like 20, 30 minutes on it. With that big old thing. I'm just holding an iPhone and my arm gets tired. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, going back to, hey girls. <laughs> going back to what I was saying though was, uh, yeah, we'll be on Kotal for about uh, four or five days. We'll be on Kotal for like four or five days. Uh, we're going to be hanging out with my friends, like I probably said in the other video. It's going to be a good time. Kosamo has been real good as a whole, though. We've been here for now... 50-ish days. You know, it's not too bad. I love that I'm able to travel and do all of this. Because you know, I actually haven't been back to America since like not this August, last August. So it's basically been like 16 months. Woo! Yeah, I haven't been to America in like 16 months. I've been able to travel full time all around the world. So far I've been to, I think six different countries. Six or seven different countries. It's been a blast, it's been awesome. I have you all to thank for it. Thank you so much for your love, support, likes and comments for, uh, now I'm making this doable. And you know, your influence along the way if I met you. And we like partied at some point at some bar in some country. I, I'm so glad I get to do this for the rest of my life too. I'm not gonna be stopping. Not until it gets to the point where I feel like I need to settle down and get a house. And even then, I'll probably end up still getting something that's outside the continental United States. You know, like I'll probably end up just going back to Mexico. Like how the first year basically was. To go to Mexico and get there because they got cheap health care. They got good tacos. They're only a dollar. Mexico is kind of like the spot to live if you want to be close to America. Because then you can still get like the perks of being near America where it comes to like healthcare, benefits, like job proximity if you work from home and they need you on their time frame. Or you need to be able to like get to the office within 24 hours. Mexico would be the place to go. Or if you're just like me and you're just retired, like Mexico's the spot to go because then you still have all the American amenities at the cheaper price living in Mexico. Like there's, there's really nothing you can uh, 
get the moose from that. That's not, like this hasn't been too bad. Thailand's been basically just as cheap as Mexico. The thing that made Mexico really cheap for us was uh, coronavirus. I know you're not supposed to say that on the internet, but uh, we basically showed up in Mexico like a month or two, maybe like three or four months before the whole world shut down. So we just hunkered down in Mexico during that whole ordeal. And that's, you know, like, that was way more affordable riding it down in Mexico than it was riding it down in America. Those people charge, like, I think we got an Airbnb in Mexico for, like, I think it was, like, 600 a month for, like, six months right there during peak corona. And that really saved us money because when you split in $600, three ways you ain't spending much and since the whole world was shut down there was like one taco stand that was open but no bars so we basically just saved money and drank at home drink that tequila we almost back to my hotel And, you know, I don't say this often, but I guess I should. Y'all should definitely make sure to follow all of my other socials. It's the same thing across all social media accounts. So make sure that you like, follow, subscribe, and I will let you know the latest time when I post. I need to get better about posting that I, I posted a video on my other socials, but... I'm kind of just trying to let like YouTube grow by itself, which really don't make sense, but you know, I'm just going to let the algorithm do its thing. But I do post other stuff on like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, stuff like that. So make sure you check that out after you finish liking and subscribing to my channel and watching all the other videos from the past, from the time I've been here in Koh Samoy and the few videos I made before that when I was just starting the channel. <sighs> but anyways, y'all, we are back here at the hotel. So until next time, stay tuned. Thank you for following me. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode, whenever that might be. Happy holidays if it's around Christmas. It's not Christmas yet for me, but this video might get released after Christmas. And if it was, I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Peace. What's going on? Welcome back, guys. It's another beautiful day here in uh, Koh Samoy. Today is our last day here in Koh Samoy, Thailand. We're, uh, we're actually heading to Koh Tao tomorrow. We're pretty excited about it. We leave the hotel at 10.30. It'll take us to the pier. From the pier, we'll go to Koh Tao. But that's going to be the next video. These videos are actually going to get kind of out of order now. Because I didn't post about the Airbnb yet. You guys will probably see that next. Or maybe... I posted about the Airbnb and then I posted this video. In which case, I'll already be in Kotao. Kotao. And y'all always have to see after the fact. But, I'm excited. I'm just walking down Main Street, Koh Samoy. Heading back to the hotel. It's been a solid last couple days though. We've been really just like enjoying that hotel. You know, chilling by the pool. We actually ended up going out to the bar the other day. And we had a good old time. We went out by, uh, out to like Pride Bar in downtown Cha Wing Beach, right near Central. It's definitely like the party spot to go, but it's easy to just like 
go right through all your cash. It's like 300-ish a drink if you get like a bucket. It's like 300 baht. So after you drink like three baht, you base, or after you drink like three buckets, you've already blown like 20 bucks, $30. But the drinks are strong and they are delicious. It's actually kind of neat because they make the buckets real strong. They, I feel like they almost dump like a whole bottle of saying some in it, which would make sense because the bottles of saying some here, whenever we, uh, like whenever I buy saying some from the store, like I did in the other video, woo, saying some costs like 180, 